Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to the 1212 AD mod. And we're starting off with the battle. It's a pretty interesting battle. I want to take a closer look at Georgia's army. As you can see, they've reached the, I guess, the high middle ages. Did they say like low, high, and maybe then it's the late middle ages? Is that how they put it? I will have to double check on it. No, actually, I can do that now. But I am very curious because it seems... Yeah, apparently we're going into high middle ages. We have early... Okay, and Luxty... Yeah, high middle ages. So they're in the high middle ages already. Probably one of the reasons why they're giving them such good chances. We're going to attack, we're going to send our king into battle because he does need a lot of experience. People don't really respect him right now. So we'll start the battle off as... As... What did I want to say? We'll start the battle off, let's keep it simple. Yeah, look at this, look at these units. Oh, I can't wait for us to upgrade ours as well. So we were in 1286. Yeah, some of these troops, I'm guessing they're not going to be as good, but... Once again, we get uh, high walls. And where do we want to attack from? I guess going from here is an idea. I'll try to change the view for once, so let's attack on this side. Bring in the catapults. Then we'll have our archers, which we will need in order to distract their troops for a while. Swords. Good, our king, and finally this cavalry, which I should replace to be honest, but... Let's get this started. Have our catapults, fire upon them there, and I am going to be bringing our troops forward. Let's see. Yeah, look at this, look at this armor. Do they show us the stats? They do, so let's see, how do they compare to us? Well... Not super great. Maybe I am not sure who, like where do they come from they have they have slightly more armor archers have 39 missile damage and we have 39 missile damage so yeah I'm not sure exactly what's what's their deal there let's bring them even closer Okay, we're doing good damage to the gate. Okay. They've got their gates opened here. How do they have some horses on this side? Yeah, it's, the, it's apparent that we've killed some horses in the process. Everybody has gathered on that side. I mean, we're really doing a good number on them. But I really thought that this would be maybe a bit more challenging. Who knows? Though if they do recruit an army, it's going to be a whole lot tougher. Let's see, let's reorganize our lines. Come on, break the gate. The enemy gates have been destroyed. Very close to destroying the whole thing. I wonder, can I destroy the whole thing? We're 
done here. Let's go in. I will be bringing next motion. I will be focusing the archers. Let's focus them here. Okay. I will bring you up here. Let's take away their gates. And with the cavalry, I am going to bring them inside the wall. Let's see if what we can do maybe to capture some of these territory. Get that extra morale bonus. Great. Okay. I'll have to go around for a bit. Let's see. Are there any enemies around here? Look at that, they can go through underneath the pavement. Hmm. Let's see. Can I throw some javelins at these guys? Stay in melee here. Bring this guy around. Let's do a bit of a charge on his lancers. Though they are high medieval cavalry, they have a hundred and eighty charge. these guys come back I will be throwing some javelins not engage them in melee okay apparently there are a set of units that really don't have enough space around there let's bring these guys around our archers have mostly used their ammunition Let's go for flaming shots just to create those penalties from fire damage. Though I'm not sure that that's something that they they do with the fire ones, with the fire arrows in this game. So we'll go straight forward. I am going to be using this cavalry in order to capture that market. Yeah, let's do the same over here, let's not get captured or caught by his ears. Actually, better yet, we can go around here and throw javelins at them. Let's get them with the javelins. Good. Here we're doing well. Let's take care of this catapult as well. swords those will break in time yeah okay I mean at this point there's not a whole lot else to be done oh well, let's take our general out they almost had him Okay. 
general should be done now. And we're gonna take the rest of the cap. And march it to these archers of theirs. Okay, you go there, you go down here. And that should be about it with the battle. Not sure what these archers are doing, but sure. Okay, well that's it. Let's end the battle. But that is a good look. Like, it does seem like we've upgraded, right? Like, when you take a look at these units, they, they feel like they have more armor on them, like, more protection. Let's see. Um, well, I think that what we need to do for now is probably sit still for a while. I feel we're overextending just a tiny bit too much. This area is does not have a good situation in regards to public order. Okay, well this has stabilized. And this looks good. And this we can't leave alone just yet. Mm, cattle herd, pigsty, some trading, a church, we will go with the platea. Over here, we are very close to having ourselves a rebellion. Let's stop taxing them, just to give us a few extra turns to work with. Okay, we're doing okay in Trebizond, here we're replenishing, here we're stabilizing the region, here as well. Okay, finally we're doing okay in Kaffa, and here we're recruiting troops trying to keep things stable. Raids gain, lazy and raise binar 4, okay, learn tutor. We have a bunch of researchers. We've done with the standardized mercenary paid. We're 26 turns away. Let's do a quick look through our faction. Especially to the people who don't seem to have like positions. You are a general. Instead of giving you the public order Going for authority, um, some, what, melee defense and armor? I guess we don't have spaces. I was trying to look for spaces where, where we could add ourselves. More researchers, but I don't see any. So where are we now in regards to public order? Because eh, we've taken a look in many places. But it seems to me like some of our biggest problems are closer to home. Okay. Antioch still needs some work. Bata Aleppo is going up. Here we're going down. And this entire area is going down. Here we have some problems.
Since we do have a lot... Oh no, we're still missing food. Now with the current public order, I am not sure that keeping the architect's workshop is actually the best idea. Jewelry artisan could be. Well, let's bring them fishing docks. Fishing docks should give them food, enough food hopefully to stabilize the area. The, they are at minus three. Okay, let's repair this cattle herd. Orthodox church, nice. A large workshop I do not need. And a silver mine I don't need. Not here at least. Okay. We don't have money to spend on anything else, to be honest. I was hoping that maybe we could build ourselves another school. But it doesn't seem like that is the case. Okay, well, let's just leave things as they are then, we'll keep the money in the bag, and we'll end the turn. This governor level up, we're gonna give them reduced construction costs. Venice is moving some troops around. Okay, I'm guessing they had some spy, because you saw the Kingdom of Antioch and it moved the camera here in the middle of the water, but it didn't show anything. Our people wish an end Ooh. to all arrangements with your people. There. It is said openly and honestly. Okay. That is interesting. We might have a bit of a problem with the Pope. Rebellion imminent. And that is over here. Well, let's put them down. What is this about? Religious differences, that is the biggest. We have these Tatars. And I am not sure I want them in my land. Actually, I know I don't want them in my land. And on this side, I would like you. We will go with a jeweler first. On this side, we are going to be doing what? We do have a well. Probably a town barracks sounds good. And maybe a town barracks here, here as well, and then we'll go with the jewelers. You are almost ready for action. I will need you to replenish before you go forward. Mm, with these guys. Do we still need to keep them around? How much do we get from character? 22 from military presence. Okay, so we can't move them forward yet anymore. Or at least for the moment. Mm. Western Malaysia increased its population. Let's go further then. And I will need to give you something for public order. So we're going to go with the town barracks. I'm going to go with Orthodox Basilica. 
Ankara increased its population. And we're gonna go pretty much with the Platea, I think, on its Ansira. Well, you can say Ankara, I guess. Modern day Ankara. Mm, okay, here we'll stable. Here we're stable now. Are we missing food? We are missing some food. Drunkard, fond of gambling, fond of gambling. Great. Go for more food. Let's replace this with... Jewelry? Or I was demolishing it for that extra food. You know what? Let's keep it as it is for now. Ready for orders. Let's take a look through our primary land. Here we have orthodoxy going up as we do around here. We could reduce corruption and I, that will mean more money for us. We want to do that. On this side, there's nothing special. Do we have food? We do have food. So let's go with the university. I want, yeah, I want plenty more modifiers. Everything that will push us forward is great. Let's get more food. We can go with a jeweler's workshop here. And that's it. Agents, I want you to keep going this way. This is the Upstal Bloom League. Okay, Tbilisi, no, we'll stay still. I think that is about it for now. Let's end the turn once more. Our favor and friendship is rarely expressed in such golden terms. Um, they still like us for some reason, but no, I want the sugar in this province, so we're gonna fight till the end here. Very sorry for him, but there's nothing we can do. We do not give gifts lightly, and never to common folk. Yeah, Georgia doesn't like us. Don't want them as my neighbor. I want to kick them out. Especially since they research better military. If I leave them alone, they might represent a huge threat for us. Okay, so the Tatars are moving away from us. Okay. It seems like this governor has passed away. But the good thing, the good news on this side is that... Things look pretty stable, and they will be. Population surplus in Silesia. Let's go ahead and do this. Do they have food? They have 52 food, and they can increase it further. They can go with more jewelers workshops. Let's try to throw in a school. In here, we still have food, probably going with the platea and then I'll see some and if I can add anything else. Over here in Transylvania, with all this industry growing on, bringing in one of those workshops like industrial 
or architectural workshops, it seems like a best idea. Buildings constructed. Okay, finally, stable area. We'll go one more level in fishing. As we will need food when this upgrades, the stronghold upgrades. With this territory, what are we getting from buildings? From buildings we're getting 13. Okay, we're very close to make this area stable as well. I'll be throwing the jewelers and let's leave it at that for now. This area looks good, so Aleppo looks good. You... On you, I think I'm gonna add the platea. And maybe bring in more food. Okay, hopefully this will get better and quick. In one turn, this army will be ready. R better yet, then bringing... Instead of bringing them, I will bring... Too much cars. And on this side, they don't really have defenses now, do they? What will happen if I do this? Well, it will give us bad chances, so we'll have to fight the battle ourselves. Seems like this guy is marching over to Derbent here. I think Austria wants to take that from us. And I think that that is a bad idea to let them do it. Okay. Maybe we'll be fine here. We have average food. I think I'm bringing in an in. Because even though I want to keep the architectural compound, it's not really helping us. Or instead of the mosaic, let's reduce the mosaic. Uh, or what should I do? Yeah, let's reduce this building for, for a while just to keep the area stable. Is careful with the cash. Good for you. And what? Who died? One of the governors died, right? Yes. And thus we will go like so. Silesia seems stable. Philippopolis is good. Sharukan will be good. We hunger for battle. You, I am going to give you. Public order in the local province, that will be fine. And we need someone in these territories. So I will march this army up here and I will provide them with a governor in Al Jazeera. So let's go this way. Okay, you might be good. Charismatic. But he is a general. You. He is boring, but he is coming, cunning. He can do quite a few things. And he is young. So we'll go to Al Jazeera. Okay. Let's find you a wife. Mm, or maybe. Maybe. You have 10 influence. Okay, let's find you a wife. And we'll give you more religion.
and that's it. Good. Seems like everything is in order. Our spies will take a look over on this side. We have the Kingdom of Denmark. You will sit still. Everybody else sits where they are set and will end the turn. Let's go with something like Religious Tolerance for a bit. Unassigned skill will reduce the costs for construction. Oh, and we're gonna... No, we can't do it with one catapult. We will need some siege towers. And with that we're gonna put a cut into this episode and we're coming back tomorrow where we'll fight for Tbilisi. Probably uh, Dwin here in the south. I am going to bring our other general in the north to take the last territory of Trebizond and we'll start marching south towards the rest of Antioch as well. Oh yeah, he's moving really fast. He saw us approaching the the area and I think that's what's going on. Well, these are early troops. They have plenty of cavalry. We don't really have cavalry, but we do have spears this time. It's going to have to be a decision that we will take during the next episode. Until then, I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.